Section 17 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. Winter Stores by Charlotte Bronte. We take from life one little share and say that this shall be a space redeemed from toil and care, from tears and sadness free. And haply death unstrings his bow and sorrow stands apart, and for a little while we know the sunshine of the heart. Existence seems a summer eve, warm, soft, and full of peace. Our free, unfettered feelings give the soul its full release. A moment, then, it takes the power to call up thoughts that throw around that charmed and hallowed hour this life's divinest glow. But time, Though viewlessly it flies, and slowly, will not stay. Alike through clear and clouded skies it cleaves its silent way. Alike the bitter cup of grief, alike the draught of bliss. Its progress leaves but moment brief for baffled lips to kiss. The sparkling draught is dried away, the hour of rest is gone, and urgent voices round us say, Ho, lingerer, hasten on! And has the soul, then, only gained from this brief time of ease a moment's rest when overstrained, one hurried glimpse of peace? No. While the sun shone kindly o'er us, and flowers bloomed round our feet, while many a bud of joy before us unclosed its petal sweet, an unseen work within was plying, like honey-seeking bee, from flower to flower, unwearied flying, labored one faculty. Thoughtful for winter's future sorrow, its gleam and scarcity, prescient to day of want to morrow, toiled quiet memory. Tis she that from each transient pleasure extracts a lasting good, tis she that finds in summer treasure to serve for winter's food. And when youth's summer day is vanish, and age brings winter's stress, her stores, with hoarded sweets replenished, life's evening hours will bless. End of section 17